Hey guys, James Wilson-Taylor here for Roxanne. We are backstage at Reading and Leeds Festival 2022 and Dwayne joins me now. How are you, man? I'm so good. I feel amazing. I'm happy to finally meet you in person. I know. Nice to finally meet you I not really on a Zoom am. screen. That's yeah. a good start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we're really good friends. Too, Absolutely. So. We bonded in those Zoom chats, we did. man. Bonded we did. from afar across we did, an ocean. Man. There yeah, we yeah. go. We got it. Well, Most welcome definitely. back to the UK, man. Thank and you. obviously, welcome back to a festival like no other. You know, Reading yeah. and Leeds, such a big moment on the festival calendar. How have these last two performances been for you? Um, some of the best performances, um, just with the, fan, with the supporters and the fans of like, most of these people don't know who I am and it's really awesome to just be on the main stage and I love like showcasing who I am and mm. showcasing what I do and freaking people out so it's been really awesome I feel like lots yeah. of people come here especially during the day like they might come to see like one band in particular course, but if yeah. someone is on that stage you can bring some energy oh, they're totally. all here for a party you know what 100%. I mean and I give them that Absolutely. respectfully so yeah. <laughs> respectfully yeah. delivering a party <laughs> right there it's all good yeah. well let's get into the music side of things but I want to touch first of all Die Out here's an absolute banger like Thank you know you. I've said that before Absolutely I saw your love tweet that shit. I saw your tweet when and gotta I was shout like, out. I agree with you <laughs> you agree that it's a solid solid banger you gotta be I your do. own fan man you be your own fan. Tell me a little bit of the writing process behind that one because again, just such a such a good sound for you to play Thank with, I think, you. that one. Yeah, it was like, to be honest, it was the first song that I did within these new songs that uh the new album, the new record, right, like right, this right. new I feel like I really cracked the code in the type of rock music that I want to make. And um that was kind of the first the first one of that of that form. And uh it just felt really good to be honest and keep that poetic rawness with adding like the real rock sounds that I that I like to do and stuff like that like keeping something like catchy and poppy but also being you know just like banging so yeah, it, yeah, felt, yeah. it felt really good to deliver that it definitely awesome. your biggest rock moment so far yeah. I would say like, yeah. I mean Die Out Here in Good Mood man it's like mm. it's already streamed better than Stains you know mm. with two singles so it's I feel really great. It's nice to see I it building. I feel really happy. Nice to see it building. And speaking yeah, to that, man. caught up with your boy grandson a few weeks yeah, back when man. he was here in the UK, which is yeah, really, so really you guys nice. Talk, yeah. Oh, of course. I mean, he was like, you know, obviously speaking so highly of working with you. But how was it from your perspective? How was that collaboration for you? It was amazing because we've been best friends for like, we've been really, really good friends for like five, six years. And uh, we've never worked together right. in that type of way. And um, he came into the studio and, you know, gr like, Jordan is like a genius, you know, when he writes, he like, he processes it, he knows what he wants to talk about, like, I go to the studio and I'm very raw and I just like, I was just like freak out, and uh, it was cool to see him in that light, you know, mm. like I got on the hook and I did the verse and he just got on the mic and I was like, cool, so we don't have to like overthink anything, yeah. um, it was really awesome. Yeah. Gotta be so easy as well to collaborate with someone like that who you already know so oh, well yeah. as well, it's like you kind of, I imagine already have like a shorthand in the studio totally. effectively, it just makes totally. it easier. It was so easy, bro, it was... It was great, man. I, I love that guy, and yeah, I love that song. Same with Dally here, so. Yeah, yeah nice man. to see it building. Well, you know, you've alluded to it there. There is clearly some more new music kind of on the way. What kind of stage, are, you can just hint, I know you're not going to tell me everything, but what kind of stage are we at? Are we Have we got like a load of songs ready to go? Is the album kind of ready yet? No, or? no, I, I can tell you. I can tell you guys. <laughs> uh, no, we, we the album, is we, we turned it in right before I got to London. Oh, wow, nice yeah, and so, fresh, okay. And we have a new single coming out Friday. Wow, yeah, yeah. that's very, very exciting. What can you tell me about that one, then? It's with Good Charlotte. It is with Good Charlotte. So that was my question. I saw <laughs> you teasing, saying, like, some pop-punk legends on this track. I was like, that's going to be one of a handful of bands. I got a Good Charlotte were, like, right on my list there. That's really, really cool. So, I mean, again, obviously, guys you know pretty well guys at this I know point. Pretty, I mean, they've been my mentors. They've been my managers yeah, for yeah, the past yeah. few years. And as I've gotten better and grown, they, they've never, like, tried to force anything on me. They've always, like, you're going to figure it out. You're going to figure it out. Mm. Um, and we got in the studio and I saw Joe get on the mic and uh, I realized why they were the most badass band. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. he just freestyled everything. Oh wow. It was incredible. Like and he was just like yelling and screaming and yeah, I can't wait for people to hear the song, man. Man, is it is it like pop punk vibe or is it matching what you've that been doing? Song is, I mean, it still has like the rock and roll vibe, but with him singing it has a bit of that pop punk, but mm. it's it more than something that's what's popping right now. I think it's a song that people need. 
instead of like what they want. You know what I'm saying? I think it's something that will really like touch into people's hearts. Man. So yeah, yeah, it feels man. good. Exciting times ahead with really that exciting one. Times, exciting man. times. That's really, really cool. And you know, as we kind of move into this new record, this new era, I guess we should look back for a second because Stains, obviously, you know, you know, we love to do rock sound. Yeah, opinion, I mean, same. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta pick yourself up. <laughs> um, but, you know me, bro. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be your own fan. Yes, but sir. I want to know, like, what were the kind of learning points from that as you went to the new era? Like, what were the were there things you wanted to expand on? Were there things that you just kind of wanted to I don't know maybe just push a little bit further with this one just push further I mean I I really just I was always a really good writer but I tried to become a better singer and Stains was more of a process of 25 years of living taking that like trying to break into the industry trying to like being like angry like oh like I'm a rock and roll artist like I'm not anything else you know and with this one I was just felt so confident and I was able to uh put on record a space and time instead of like my whole life, mm. which I've never been able to do. I was kind of going through a certain point of like living and growing and loving and a lot of experiences that I was going through the past like six, seven months and I was able to record that and you can just hear it on the record. You know what I'm saying? It's really cool. So it was just a lot of growth and a lot of confidence in who I want to be as an artist and I want to be a longevity artist. So, you know, I, I put a lot of hard work into it. But uh, it was like a specific moment in time that I was able to put down on record, and I think people uh, uh, dig it. Man, yeah. so, so excited to hear yeah. this new it's stage really for you, exciting, man. man. No, yeah. it's a good point to be at, for sure. And we're here at Redden Leaves, bro. Yeah. Like, I've been calling my mom every day. She's like, yo, this is weird. I'm like, no, mom, this is strange. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> big moves, big moves, man. Well That's deserved, crazy. well deserved big moves. Um, Any more, co- well, not even just collaborators, but who else have you kind of been working with on this new music on this time around? I want to give you like all the gems. Give bro. me a hint. Give me a tease that won't give it away then. There's a beautiful tall man that I've seen you talk to a few times on on beautiful <laughs> handsome man. Uh, so many handsome men the, we've had on this By the name of videos. Dallin. Oh, hello. Uh, That's who I very love. exciting. We have something coming as well. Man, yeah. that's really, really <laughs> exciting to hear. I dude. love that man. And he gave me like the first, we were on that water parks tour a few years ago. Mm. And I remember him telling me, uh, he was like, you should not be first of four on this tour. Yeah. And I, I wasn't a good artist then, but I was a good performer. And I've always just loved him. And he lets me call him sexy and stuff like that. He doesn't get freaked out by it. But uh, we have a great song coming. So God, I'm very excited yeah, to hear that. That's going to be a really nice fit for you guys. Actually, yeah. I can see that working very, very well. You mentioned live shows there as well. Obviously, you've been kind of doing like I know you did like the sports shots with uh, with like Willow and stuff yeah, out in the yeah. states and everything. What I love about your live show is that level of energy. But I've only seen it in the small rooms and stuff so far. So how's it been kind of adapting it for those bigger spaces? And like we oh. say, even like on festivals, just kind of winning over those bigger crowds. It's like been that. awesome. Yeah. Man. I mean, we got to play every like major festival in the state. For some reason, they put me on main stage, and then we come here and we get to play main stage. And I just, yeah, I bring a lot of energy, and I think uh, I can just see like young people's eyes in the crowds. Like I'm like giving them some type of awakening. Like it's really cool. So and older people, like it's very like I just see people dancing and raging. And yesterday I saw a rowboat. People were like doing a rowboat. I think that's a UK thing. Wait, so do you mean like like down on the ground? They were giving down it on the a ground. Bit? I know. What and it was you like mean. one o'clock, two o'clock. And that's what I love too about being on main stage but playing so early. People should be chill, but I kind of like I get them riled up and mm. rowdy and and that's been it's been working out great yeah hey yeah. it's been working out very very yeah. well and so then far, i just man. yell at them <laughs> i just yell with abandonment i'm just like ah! you do like, more yeah. than yell don't sh- sell yourself well, yeah. short there man yeah. that's very very solid <laughs> um dude it's so good to see you welcome so back to the uk you. again i'm glad you had a great weekend enjoy the rest yeah. of your day we will catch up again soon i'm sure sounds All right. good man good to see you Dwayne. everybody